Wyatt. He's my golden doodle, and I'm going to demonstrate today on how to shave his face. must remember is safety. Safety is the number one thing and because he's a white dog we have to watch that we don't get razor burn and use the wrong size blade on him and then his face gets real pink and he starts scratching and then you have a problem. So what I'm going to start doing is showing you the holes. The holes are called the C holes and that's when you hold like this if you're coming down the nose, the bridge of the nose and then we have a C hole like this if you're coming from the side and this is your other C hole and then from underneath the neck. So you always have to make sure that their tongue is in their mouth when you have a clipper on their face. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do an inverted V and that's in the stop area. The stop area is indention between the bridge of the nose and the eyes and then I'm going to come down the nose. So we're going to do forming first. We're going to take our clippers and kind of be careful and do a little V in here and come down the nose. Come right down the nose. Okay, and then after that we're going to pull the ear back and then we're going to go from uh, this part of the ear where the little notch is right to the corner of the eye. And you don't want to go up into the top knot because this is the top knot and he needs a big top knot. So we're going to come straight across right to the corner of the eye. Kind of lift when you get to the corner. Now we're going to come down from where you would have, you know, you pluck the hair out of the ear, that little tiny canal right there, and we're going to form right down to a V to the Adam's apple. And then we're going to clean it up. So we're going to come down and then right to the Adam's apple, and then we're going to start cleaning all this up. Now, if it's not cleaning up enough, then what you want to do is go backwards with your blade. And, you know, do a lot of stretching and pulling. And when you go over the mouth, make sure you hold that tongue in. And just get this very, very clean so he looks really nice and smooth and clean. Okay? He's still a puppy. Now, why it's only one year old, so... He's pretty good for grooming. You see how nice that looks there? And he's not red or anything. And then I'm going to take this down his neck. Now, we have to stretch the flu. The flus are the area on the bottom lip. And every dog has the flu. Some have bigger flus. And that right there, when they pant, you have to make sure that's cleaned out. So I take my corner of the blade and I go in like that. Also, I teach students to touch the blade and make sure the blade's not hot because then you'll burn the dog and that's called clipper burn. Okay, I also want to show you if you over brush, over comb the dog, then you have slicker burn. Slicker burn, comb burn, whatever you want to call it, that's overdoing. So anyway, just wanted to show you the one side of his face so this is a before picture right here, you can see, and this is almost an after on Wyatt.